Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap and we are here with Technique Tuesday. I'm in the shade. <laughs> So today we wanted to do something a little bit different with our Cricut, kind of go over a few design space things and then actually show you a really cool thing that our journaling pens can do. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more about design space today. First off, you wanna make sure that depending on your machine, you either have, whoops, you have your Explore, Joy, Maker, or Explore. I have the Explore family over here. I have the Explore Air 2. Um, Mom has the Maker. We have yet to get the joy, but we're hoping to get it very soon. Yes, soon, soon, soon. <laughs> we're hoping to get it very soon. Um, but just make sure you're on your Cricut Explore or Maker before you hit Make It up here. Um, if you do hit Make It and you're on the wrong machine, it'll just don't edit anything on your thing. Go back. It won't let you cut unless you have the right machine. Um, and we've done that before, where we've edited a whole entire project and then we've had to undo it because we're on the wrong machine. So yes, we have. You should have like a to-do list. Make sure you're on the right machine first. Next, I want to show you how to find images because people are having issues with the update of Cricut. So I'm going to hit images here. All of this Oops, comes up. Sorry. Um, we Wait, have Cricut images? Uh, right there. On okay, the perfect. We have Cricut access. So that's why all of these are free and subscribed to for us. If you want to find your specific cartridges, you want to go over here. You want to go to all images. You see how I click that at the top? So we'll do that again. Yes, let me just, images. Images. Let me go get closer. Clicked it. Up here, all images. Down here, it says image sets. Right. And now That's you're going to get forgetting. everything here. So then you do ownership and purchased, and everything will come up here. So if I want a close to my heart one specifically, I type in close to my heart. And then all of my close to my heart image sets will come up here. Um, but we wanted to show you something cool that actually somebody told us about, which we didn't know. So, hmm. Did we purchase the brand new ones yet? We have those two that we still have to buy, right? Uh, yes, because they weren't available. They are available now. So we are going they, to do uh, that. I'm going to show you how to yes. do that. So That's a good one, too. Let's hold it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to adelveobizer.closetomyheart.com up here. I have a favorite in, but I typed it in. I'm going to sign in and we're going to sign in under mom. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and hit that cricket symbol. Now, our crickets for the brand new sets are out. Woo woo! So, we just gotta let cricket.com load. And look, we've got the Eat, Play, Love, which I ooh, love it. I want that. I love that cut so much. Right. So I'm going to add to my cart the Eat, Play, Love. Add to cart. Adding. Add to cart. Adding. And I am not signed in yet. So I want to go up here and hit sign in. Sorry, my computer's going slow. And then I'm going to sign in here. Great. Do, 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 do. So I have two things in my cart, right? Mm -hmm. I just want to show you what it's going to do if um, I added something else to my cart. I know I have Sweet Safari. Oops. I'll do it after. So I'm going to check out and then I'm going to show you that. So it comes out to whatever it is. We actually get a discount because we have Cricut Access. So you can also sign up for Cricut Access through our affiliate link and you'll also be helping us and you'll get discounts. Um, so I'm going to check out now. So then you're going to get this screen after you go through all your payment information. I didn't want that on the screen. <laughs> So this is the screen that you're gonna see once your order is placed, great. I just wanted to show you one more thing. So if we go back to adelveobizer.closetomyheart.com, we go all the way back to Cricut at the bottom here. And let's say I tried to purchase Sweet Safari. I'm signed in already. And I go to add this to my cart. It comes here and it won't let me because you already own this digital content. So that's really cool that Cricut tells you that. So you're not purchasing the same thing over and over exactly. again. <laughs> so it's there. So just so you know, it is in your design space. Now I'm going to quit that and I'm going to come here. I'm going to go back out and back in. So I'm going to now go to images. I might have to sign back in. I have to check that. Images, all images, ownership, purchased. And we're going to go to eat, play, and it is literally there. And I did not even have to sign out. Isn't that amazing? 
So great, you get all these things. And how stinking cute are these things? They're so, so cute. So I wanted to just show you something quick. Um, I'm gonna actually grab these mixing bowls here because they're cute. Let's see if I can do this. I'm experimenting for the second. Okay, I'm gonna take this base out, right? So now they're just a set of mixing bowls. So I'm gonna go here, operation. I'm gonna go to draw pen. And do you see how that made this now a drawing? Pretty cool, because then I can color after. So I have a piece of cardstock in my Cricut machine right now that's four inches. So I'm gonna make the height of this three and a half just to be safe. So that made three and a half. It measured it all out for me. And now I'm gonna go to make, right? I'm gonna do these in a thicker pen. So I'm gonna do it in our 0 0.05 black journaling pen. Oops, before, but before I do this, see how that all came apart? We're not gonna do that, we canceled it. So now this piece, did you see how when I went into it, they were all separated? Well, I wanna make sure that this actually cuts in one spot. So I'm gonna go down here and it says weld, attach, flatten. If I weld it, parts of it come apart. But if I hit attach, and then you could deattach it, and I go to make it, it's now all one piece on my board here. So I'm gonna hit continue. It's going to think Bluetooth, but I can also connect it if it's this side. See, oh, it did it. See, look, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, cause I have the Explore Air. I have it on Cardstock Plus. That doesn't really matter right now. So this says edit tools. It's gonna be, it says loaded a 0.4 pen. I have a 0 0.05 pen black pen, but come over here, but we're going to put this into A and you're going to kind of hear it click. Did you hear that click? Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. It clicks in and then we put it into A and it's all good. Great. So now I'm going to hit my cut button like I normally would and watch the machine work. And how stinking cute is that? So mom wants me to experiment with something. So we're going to go back to the computer. We are. Oy. We're going to hit finish. And she wants to see if I can write something just in a bowl. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to detach. I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm going to take these top bowls out. I'm going to regroup this. I'm going to attach it. And now my bowl is attached. And then I'm going to just do some basic text. What would you like me to write? I'm gonna write Pfizer recipes. Okay, cool. All right. Obviously I'm gonna edit it a little. You might have to make it a little bigger. A little smaller, bowl, I know. Bowl a little bigger. There's also a lot of cool things that you can do. So I'm just gonna show you quickly. I'm not gonna actually show you in the video, but I'm gonna tell you. So you can do letter spacing up here, which will actually bring a font like this close together and see how that's really cool. And then you can also edit it more by ungrouping and bringing certain groups closer. And then you just regroup things. So if you ever wanted to do something cool like that, now I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Maybe I'll make my bowl a little bigger. But I could do something cute like this. And once again, go up to operation and I'm gonna do pen. This specific font is not gonna let me um, do it like filled in, but there are specific ones that you can fill in. Once again, I have to attach this. Detach, attach, perfect, all attached. And now we're gonna make it. Okay. I'm going to move that over just so it so it can be on the same sheet. Okay, cool. We're gonna see if this works. Um, but I, once again, if I took the time, I could find a font that actually like had it bolded and filled in because it does work. I've seen it done. And there you have it. How stinking cute is that? Super easy really fun and easy to do. Also, just remember, once you're done, take out this pen and recap it because you don't want your ink going dry. So, but isn't that cool? You can just use these pens. I mean, this was the 0 0.05 I used. You can use 0 0.01 or 0 0.03. And there you go. You have it. Cricut.
cutting with our journaling pens. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Isn't this cool? I love the way the pen can write. It's just so cool. And this was the 0.5 0.05 pen that we use. Mm -hmm. So remember, we also have them in pewter as well, and we have them in 0.01 and 0.03 as well. But it's just so cool how you can do so many different things on the Cricut. And after you do this, you can also color everything in as well. So that's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be seeing more on Throw It Together Thursday, but that's our Technique Tuesday. See you next time. Bye. Bye. All right. Hello, everybody. I think you can see me in the reflection. Can't see me, though. I'm okay. behind the scenes. Okay. This one right here. I can't see things. Go back. Da oh, Daisy Meadows. Me. Whoops. Okay. I clicked Serenity and said, coming back. <laughs> we already have Serenity. Please hold. And it will tell you you ah! already have it. Okay. <laughs> um, so this specific recipe... Uh,